Hello guys and gals, today we're going to be going in person, uh, this time I'm going to dress up in snow gear to be able to do this, so we can go um, and show you the places in person, and especially the shelter, the one that uh, I'm pretty sure because I see Jason filling up his car was closed a lot of times in there so uh, yeah now nah, I'm pretty sure he's the one who stole my shoes and para lose the guy who steals uh, friggin people's medication gets right messed up you can even see him his eyes are so, like right like uh, right messed up and then he's literally falling all over the place and still he's somehow allowed to work there and handle people's medication. They're not allowed to hold on to their own medication. They literally give it to some opiate addict to hold on to. That's how bad it is. So we're going to go show those places in person. And we'll be right back in a second. Well, for you, anyway, a second. But Pete, we'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I mean, welcome back after the intro. Just oh, come on, it is a great backpack. We're heading near the push now. Actually, I'll, you know what I can do? I can add in a voiceover into a certain scene anyway, so I don't have to just say it out loud. And in the voiceover now, and we're going to have to end it off now because someone's coming to play music. Hey guys, I had to mute the audio because of the D-Bag playing his music, but this is the place with the employee, Jason, who works there. He stole my $300 Nike shoes. I'm going to put it up on screen now. now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome here. This is one of the next locations. But first of all, Burger King, I, I give it a five star. It's a good place. Well, with their lunch anyway, burgers and stuff. I can't say anything else about the other food because I just usually order burgers. But it's good and it's really fast. They got. The only problem I had one time was with the, a bunch of, uh, it was a bunch of them workers that were wearing the mask with the nose out, but, but they got fired, so, <laughs> obviously. Not, and that was when they had the mask policy, they were doing that. It's the only problem I had with them, and why I wouldn't eat there for a while, but... They're not doing that anymore, so they're doing, they're pretty good, you know.
And now we're gonna come back and switch cameras. And that's the thing, it says renting of rooms for no that's just, that's not real. See? Does it say anything about closets with a curtain around it? I don't see anything about that. So it says free Wi-Fi and that's not true either. Because I had to connect to someone else's Wi-Fi. So that's a lie too. When I went over to this old buddy of mine. And then it was five, four, six. Yeah, that's, yeah, false advertisement there, number one. And we're going to switch back when we get to the next location. Hey, hey guys, now we're on location. One thing I can say about McDonald's was I went in there and bought an ice cream. They, I was sitting there for five minutes. They didn't even let me finish my ice cream. And they threw me out saying I was loitering there and causing disturbances. They did that one time, so I, I would give them a one star just for that alone. And like 24 hours, and it's only open till 10. And also, this is the Tim Hortons that uh, falsely accused me of being a convict there and all that. That's what they said the reason was, and they mistakenly for me. It, conveniently, when I showed them my YouTube channel. Even though I've been going there and I've been talking to the exact same staff member who called the, the police on me that time, for a long damn time, I've been, they know me. So they did not mistake me for someone else. That is a complete lie. And so I would one start for sure. And you can and I took did that research video not that long ago, showing you that they got all botted reviews. You can tell it's like the business. You can just tell by the way it's written. It's the owner who's writing these reviews, and they're all in different accounts. They're either just making a bunch of different accounts or they're botting them. And then, yeah, that's the location there. It's pretty bad that they do that, you know? It's, it's really bad. Wait, I had no idea. I'm not blowing until you try to hit. Uh, they always try to ram me if I'm not recording. It's pretty insane. I've never seen a city like this where if they, uh, if you basically not videoing, they friggin' will ram you with their car, literally. I got re hit like 10 times by a car on the sidewalk. <laughs> on the friggin' sidewalk. You ever hear something like that? Like, it's friggin' insanity. And one, uh, biz, biz, the next business we're gonna show is one I wanna promote, and hopefully, maybe they might give me a job there or something for, uh, promoting them or something like that. So, yeah, we will be back in a second when we get to that location. Hey guys, welcome back. Now we gotta turn on the flash because it's getting dark out. But this is Business 560 Ball Change. Uh, definitely, I uh, go and bring your bottles there. They friggin', they're real, they, they're literally experts. They can, uh, tell from it by the, just the weight and stuff. Of the, how many bottles in there, they're that good. And plus they've given me uh, work a lot of times before. And I'm, hopeful, hope, I'm hoping maybe by giving them a, a little advertising, maybe they might give me a, a full-time, you know, job there. Maybe. Who knows, right? But it would be cool. <laughs> So that's it right there, the green building. Not sure what street this is. We'll, we'll see the street sign soon that shows the street it is and everything, so.
No, no, I'm not just attacking businesses. I'm only attacking if they seriously do something really wrong to me. Like, it was some rudeness. I, I wouldn't care if it was just rudeness, but that was like a very serious thing they tried to do. So, and I think it's uh, disgusting that uh, they're saying they're renting rooms that place when it's actually just a closet with a curtain around it for $600 a month. That's a big rip off. So, it's on. And the, the, I'll just show it to you so you can freaking read it out for yourself. So it's on that street, the bottle place. So definitely, uh, shout out to them, basically. Maybe they might give me a full time job, that would be nice. I'll show them it too, so they, next time I go there. <laughs> so if it brings up your business like big time, you're gonna get a dog there. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, we're gonna transition back in the house because it's getting dark right now. It took a while to to show all the places I give honest reviews based on in the shoppers they very good customer service the only problem was is they don't have their sales in the system a lot of times which is very odd that's the only complaint I can have and they don't carry two liters well they, they do now chalk them up and that business uh, tip for shoppers in bathrooms and runs could give is if you're ever like a super busy day, then put some sales out. And if it's if it's like quiet and convenient, then you can put up prices, and you the sales will go way better. That's all I can say about that. So we'll be back with the outro and inside. In a second. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah. That was a very cold trip on there. But I'm gonna, like, put the the bottle exchange image of the bottle exchange um, business on the screen. To go check them out if you're looking to get rid of some bottles. Hopefully, maybe by advertising them a bit, they'll, they might hire me full time. So, definitely go there if you live in Bathurst, New Brunswick, Canada. And definitely go there. They even got a seven star review on there. And more than likely, their, their seven stars are actually written by humans. Oh, so, yeah. That's a freezing trip, man. My hands are really oof, bad. But yeah, that friggin'. And so we basically were exposing a couple business. And especially the, the shelter for friggin' robbing my $300 shoes, which I know was staff member Jason. And I'm gonna have to put that in a voice over the clip. Because of some uh, D D bag, friggin' blasting his music louder than my speaker too. Uh, he does that at one a.m. all the time, and he goes around screaming at people. And plus, he's an adult man who hangs out with little kids, which that doesn't look good so whatsoever. So, yeah, he's probably a p word more than likely. You see the guy w walking around in the video. He's more than likely a P word because he friggin' he hang he, who what adult uh, hangs out with little kids? That's weird, right? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, if you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. 
I do sleep streams, all chat streams, all that there. Um, yeah, and, and follow me on, on Twitter at John one TikTok at DangeloPitcher420. Do some streams now and then on Twitch at D'Angelo4545. Um, and uh, yeah, this is D'Angelo Pitcher, and I am peacing out.